You formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you. For I'm fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my, uns my, my substance being yet unformed. And in your book, they were all written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. D did you know, th this is a fascinating scripture. Your identity was created in your mother's womb. Money cannot create an identity for you. The only thing it can do is create a false identity for you. Your true identity was given to you by God in your mother's womb. You know what the Bible says? God has so many thoughts about you in your mother's womb, they can't be numbered. They're like the sand of the seashore. In other words, God detailed out your life before you were ever born. And he will give you more than enough. If you'll follow him and trust him, he will give you more than enough to fulfill his identity for you. But money doesn't give you an identity. Let me say this right now. I want, I want to say this to some of you that maybe struggle with your, your self-esteem. Some of the most important people in our community don't get paid much money and they never will. We cannot pay teachers enough, much, uh, enough money. We can't pay firefighters enough money. We can't pay police enough money. We can't pay the armed forces, the first responders. We can't pay those people enough money. They are precious precious to our society and what would we do without those precious people and when you say that money gives me identity what you're saying to those people is you're nothing because you don't have enough money because in many cases they barely survive with what they make and I'm saying not only not only do they have an identity they're some of the most important people among us This, you, you've heard this scripture before, Philippians 4. Not, this is Paul. Not that, not that I speak in regard to need, for I've learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased, poor. I know how to abound, be rich. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and be hungry, both to abound and suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now we, we see that verse quoted a lot, but out of context. And here's what Paul was saying. I've lived with a lot of these and I've lived with very few of them. I can do all things. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't affect my identity. And I had a man one day come to church. He said, Pastor Jimmy, I need you to pray for me. And I said, okay, be happy to. I said, what's going on? He said, I'm going to kill myself. I said, well, you, you want to pray for me before you go kill yourself? He said, well, I'm struggling. And I said, why? He said, I lost my job. I said, you're going to kill yourself because you lost your job? He said, yeah. I'm, he said, I'm nobody now. 1929, when the stock market crashed all over New York City and around the United States, men were killing themselves and jumping off buildings because this was their identity. And when they lost all these, they lost their identity. You are not your money. You are a child of God who was made in your mother's womb to serve God. You are not your money. Don't you let mammon lie to you. Don't you chase these around trying to become somebody. You're already somebody.